Hello, this is Lauren speaking and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be doing an update on the birth chart of Israel with the very recent event, just days ago, of the ICC issuing or indicting Netanyahu and issuing an arrest warrant for crimes against humanity. Took some time, but came through. The astrology is absolutely fascinating, exact to the day, and uh, let's go over this, and we'll look just into the first quarter of 2025 to see what the implications of this are. Now, I do want to mention here that in the description below the video is a video that I did predicting war predictions on Israel's birth chart back in February of 2024, where I said there was a good possibility that this was going to happen. So uh, you can take a look at that if you haven't seen that already. Also, below this video, which I really highly recommend everybody watch, is um, from uh, Judging Freedom, Judge Napolitano, in a conversation with Professor Sachs, and it explains so uh, detailed and truthful exactly what this is all about. So if you want to inform yourself further, highly recommend it. All right, so let's get into this. Let's take a look because this happened on November 21st, 2024. And what do we see? At the top of the chart, we've got transiting Mars. And for those of you that study astrology, it is a trigger planet, a trigger transit planet for triggering off when events happen, conjunct the natal moon in the 10th house that represents the 10th house, the party in power, the prime minister, the head of state, etc. And the moon rules the 9th house. That is internationalism and law. So international courts. The symbology is just beautiful. It's perfect. And to the day. So transiting Mars was coming over the midheaven, and boom, as soon as it conjuncted that moon on November 21st, the ICC comes out with the arrest warrant. Now, this is amongst the larger transits that are going on, and I've discussed these, but let's just rehash this a bit a bit because it's very important. We've got transiting Pluto at the bottom of the chart oppose the midheaven for the final hit in mid-December 2024, absolutely picking up this event. That is the final hit. And notice it's at zero degrees of Aquarius and it's opposing the midheaven at zero degrees of Leo. I rectified the birth time of Israel, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, which you can see also in the description below. Watch that video as I take you through the birth time rectification for 4.23 p.m. Um, and that puts the midheaven exactly at zero Leo. And boom, ba bang, we get the final hit of transiting Pluto opposed the midheaven. I, I've discussed this in other videos. So watch that those videos. You can also watch the video on the uh, Iran strike where I rehash this. So we've got that. And we also have the second hit, the retrograde hit, of transiting Uranus, Uranus conjunct the Sun, exact at the end of December 2024. So December is not going to be a pleasant month for Mr. N, okay? And the Sun represents the head of state. It rules the 10th house, which represents the head of state, okay? So that's him. Now, um, the final hit of that transit, transiting Uranus conjunct the sun, we could say what's going to happen further with him is in the third week of February, 2025. Now, I would predict uh, the possibility that either he's physically taken into custody and or he's uh, taken out of his position and or something happens to him physically. I don't want to use too many words here, but you can use your imagination. Um, so I think 
you know, it's going to be one of those possibilities. Or he finagles and wiggles himself out of this situation. However, let's look at a few other transits going on right in the third week of January and also the third week of February 2025. We've got transiting Neptune finishing up the square to Jupiter, and I discussed that in several videos. The overconfidence, extending yourself all over the place, too thin, taking on more than you can handle, and then, boom, come crashing down to Earth, and I think that's probably what's going to happen. I don't think this is, you know, Neptune is also the planet of deception. So he could use some, you know, deceptive means to wiggle out of this in February, by February, but who knows, because also transiting Neptune, notice that it semi-squares the North Node, so that can be mm, dealing with, again, it can be deception with groups of people, things like that, okay, and also it's in a hard aspect to Pluto up in the 10th house, that's a a sesquiquadrate, 135 degrees, but Pluto also rules the second house. And uh, so putting this all together with Jupiter in the third, ruling the third, that could be, you know, potentially um, his arrest if he um, is in a country where they can arrest him. It's a possibility, neighboring countries with that third house. Um, ruling the second with Pluto, that could have to do with, uh, you know, Trump's going to be in by that time, inaugurated, we would assume, because there's so much that can go on between now and then, but it could be a dissolving away of uh, the financial support of what he's been doing. That's another possibility. I don't want to go too deep into this. But um, it's either going to be not in his favor in that third week of January to the third week of February 2025, or he's going to be using uh, some type of potential deception to get out of it, to wiggle out of it. But uh, I, I just, I don't see that happening. I don't see that happening. Um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to go over for a quick little update here on... Israel, and we'll just, you know, keep watching it along with the astrology and see exactly what is going to, um, how this is going to finalize with him. However, uh, the war continues on, um, which I've also outlined in the uh, war predictions. So, um, you know, it's sort of a long haul situation. But anyways, just wanted to go over that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I upload uh, interesting videos with accurate astrology, especially for those of you interested in astrology. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I've got to say on this video. So, um, you know, takes time, but um, it finally happened. So, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. All right, then. Thank you so much for listening. Really appreciate it. Always appreciate your comments. And uh, see you on the next video. God bless. Bye-bye now.